This video is sponsored by PotownStore.com, the best place to get yourself some TCGO code cards. Are you looking for that last card to complete your deck or you want to start your adventure and you don't have any TCGO codes? This is the website to start. You can go to PotownStore.com and use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% off your next order and they have a huge variety of codes up on their website ranging from uh, the latest booster packs like Battle Styles, they have uh, Dragapult codes, Eternus codes, Zacian codes, you name it. Be sure to check it out on PotownStore.com. Also, this video is sponsored by CardMarket.com, the best place for European players to buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. I personally use it every day to get rid of my bulk and you can buy some uh, sweet deals uh, from people all across Europe. I love the website. Be sure to check out the affiliate link in the description. You're going to be helping me out. And uh, without further ado, let's just get this video started. I'm hyped. Hopefully you guys are hyped as well. Peace. What's up YouTube, it's Zadlo's TCG here and welcome back to our TCG video on my channel. On this channel, I got daily Pokemon TCG content, so be sure you are subscribed so you don't ever miss any single video. Today, we're going to be talking about the uh, EV Hero set and the new uh, yeah, VMAXs that we're going to be getting very shortly. Uh, these are Japanese cans. We're going to be getting them probably after Chilling Rain, so hold your horses. Evolutions are awesome. We're going to be giving my first impressions. We're going to be talking about some strategies and uh, if I think they will see play or not. Uh, they have a lot of great things going for them. Some of them are single strike Pokemon as we see in Flareon uh, VMAX and some of them are rapid strike like Vaporeon VMAX while others like Jolteon don't have any uh, yeah, single strike or rapid strike going around. So uh, there's a lot of great things to love. Not only are these very beloved Pokemon in the franchise, we of course see that Charizard and Pikachu are very popular, Mewtwo is very popular, but the Evolutions are also super popular. Uh, if we just uh, look at the Google search, uh, we see that the most popular results are of course uh, Evolutions, and uh, there's good reason for that. Before we get this video started, be sure to demolish that like button. It helps out the channel in more ways than possible. And also let me know in the comment section what your favorite Evolution is. Uh, we already talked about a lot of these cards from EV Hero, so be sure to check that video out. It will be in the description below as well, so uh, you can check that link if you want to hear more about these. Now, in general, let's just uh, minimize all of these and let's just talk about the first card up on the list. So as you can see, new EV uh, Evolution VMAXs have been revealed for the upcoming Japanese set EV Heroes, and that set probably comes out in the end of May, so we're going to get leaks very, very shortly. So uh, the EV Heroes, I'm glad they're doing a team uh, all around EV because I do like, like EV myself. You could not guess what my favorite uh, evolution is. It's, yeah, it's Jolteon. Of course, I'm a big fan of lightning type Pokemon, as you could have guessed on the channel. So uh, what can we see here? Flareon V Max Single Strike. We have 320 HP to work with. So uh, it's on par with stuff like Santa Scores V Max. Not the highest HP we've seen, but it's it's gonna do the job. It's also not 330 like Rapid Strike Urge 4 or anything, but we'll make it work. We have Heat Fire Energy to boost the HP to 340. We have Big Charm to put it, push it even further to 370. So you could potentially make it quite tanky. What else can we see here is that it has a crazy attack, Max Explosion. Discard the top five cards of your deck. This attack does 100 damage times the number of energy you discard in this way. Okay, first of all, we want to just note, you can get this up and uh, single go with Welder. That could be your way out. You can accelerate uh, single strike energies to dish out even more damage. But then you also hurt your uh, yeah, uh, Flareon VMAX. So you just go all out. You can go for Handoom, accelerating single strike energies. These will provide the carless requirement for this attack called Max Explosion. And then you just attach up the turret. So you could go for either Handoom route or Welder route. And I don't even know if this set comes out before or after rotation. Because if it's after rotation, Welder is gone. If not, this could be good. Like Welder attach of turn and go crazy. How can we make this work? We have stuff like a Rotom Phone. <laughs> that is gonna be interesting. We have stuff like a Rangaroo. But you need to uh, actually arrange the top five cards of your deck. Uh, if, is there any supporter in the format that allows us to do that? In the past, I think we had a couple of them. But uh, this is very risky. Uh, you can also play a deck uh, just like Sand Akana in a way. Uh, you can even play a deck with a lot of energies. Let's say in this scenario we play stuff like like 22 energies or something try to get flare and v max out and then bam go crazy but the problem with this is if you're going for a Handoom line 
it's a little bit inconsistent because probably you will discard a lot of cards. Also, you discard the top five cards of your deck. So if the opponent is playing a one price archetype, you're going to have a lot of trouble because if you use the attack too much, you're going to deck yourself out. And uh, this attack does 100 damage times the number of uh, energy in, uh, energy discarded in this way. So it doesn't need to be five energy or whatsoever. You can just go for max explosion and uh, just get as many in the discard as possible. So it's uh, like a buffed up Santa Kanda. If you haven't seen the Santa Kanda video on my channel, be sure to do so. It's uh, one of the most fun rogue uh, one price archetypes out there. So uh, how do I think this will work? This is like, it doesn't need a lot of energy to this slap huge damage. I'm just afraid that you discard crucial stuff like your boss orders. Although you could run Palpad, you could run Ordinary Rot in this list. You could run Fire Crystals if that is still legal, if it's uh, uh, getting released before rotation. So. And even then we have Energy Recycler. So I think this is an interesting card. It one shots VMAX, that's for sure. So I'm a big fan of Flareon VMAX in that regard. So I think this might actually see play. It might actually see play. <laughs> Flareon VMAX, folks, slapping insanely amount of damage. Also the damage is unpredictable. So sometimes you could be slapping 500 damage. Sometimes you could be slapping like 100 damage. So in theory, you probably only need three and go for single strike energies to buff up the damage output. Who knows? We'll see maybe Flareon VMAX in play. Uh, huge damage output, that's for sure. Moving forward, we have Vaporeon VMAX Rapid Strike. 320 HP as well, weak to lightning. Picaram, if it rotates, uh, Picaram probably will uh, leave the format when this card will see a lot of play. So that's good at least. Uh, you slap uh, a lot of damage with the second attack. But first, the Bubble Pot. Choose one water type Pokemon from your discard pile. Put it onto your bench and then attach up to three water energy from your discard pile to that Pokemon. It doesn't specify basic, so you could potentially get out a stage two and attach three energies onto it. You could potentially get out a VMAX and attach three energies onto it. So I do love this. You can get out Lapras VMAX with three energies instantly. Uh, that's pretty interesting, that attack. But the problem is, let's say you go first, you have your Vaporeon V. If Vaporeon V is not going to be doing too much, then uh, the following turn you evolve into Vaporeon VMAX. Use the attack and leave your Vaporeon VMAX wide in the open. And the problem with that is that there's going to be uh, yeah, your attacker that you want to be attacking with on the bench with three energies. The problem is there's boss's orders and I don't like that a passive effect that you use an attack and then wait for a turn. With so many gusting options in the format, you have boss's orders, you have escape rope and all that. I'm a little bit skeptical on using the attack. On the other hand, you might potentially uh, like use this attack and then share all, all the uh, damage counters onto the Vaporeon VMAX and attack with the one on the bench is an option. I don't think it's going to be seeing too much play as of late, but it's Rapid Strike, right? So uh, you can actually uh, make use of it in a Rapid Strike deck for all we know. We have Max Torrent, it's second attack, 100 damage. If the defending Pokemon already has any damage counters onto it, this attack does 100 damage more. So Galarian Zigzag, 210. Actually, yeah, 200, but there's 10 damage counter on uh, 10 damage on the Pokemon already thanks to Galarian Zigzagoon. And that's not too bad for three energy. That's definitely not too bad. You can go for Rapid Strike Urshifu V Max. You can go for the G Max. Uh, yeah, <laughs> the attack of Urshifu V Max. Yeah, that's gonna be interesting. 120 to two targets, and then finish the job off with Vaporeon because I don't know if you've noticed. 120 on something followed up by 200 damage output does KO most of these V Maxes in the format. Doesn't KO Eternatus. But you could be playing some Zigzagoons in your list as well. So it is a stage one though. So can you pair this up with Urshifu? Maybe, but I'm I'm skeptical about this. Probably won't see too much play. I could be entirely wrong if there's ever like a stage two uh, water Pokemon that has a crazy ability. You might use it, but you leave yourself wide open after using the attack to set yourself up. I think uh, from now, Flareon takes the cake on being the best as of late. Before we check out Glaceon, let's check out Jolteon. Let's do them in the chronological order here. Jolteon VMAX, also a Kanto Pokemon, having free retreat, awesome, having weakness to fighting, less awesome. I think right now we will end up in a rock, paper, scissor format with the uh, uh, Shadow Rider Calyrex VMAX being psychic, uh, is weak to Eternus VMAX, and then the Urshifu, uh, and they go in circles like Urshifu knocks out Eternus, Eternus knocks out Shadow Rider Calyrex, Shadow Cal Rider Calyrex knocks out Eter e Urshifu, so you go in circles with these. Can uh, Jolteon find his way in the meta? It's gonna be get caught in the crossfire because of Eternus still being popular. And also you are incredibly weak against Galarian Zapdos V, which of course comes out in Chilling Rain. This actually is able to slap 150 damage and then uh, 30 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon for three, 
Yeah, that's not the one. I'm actually reading Glaceon's attack. So this actually is very different. 100 damage and then 100 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon that already has damage counters on it. So there's a team going around. Uh, the evolutions love damage counters on the uh, Pokemon, so it seems. So 100, 100, that's not too bad. It's like a mini tag ball GX. That's not too bad. You probably won't kill anything with it except for maybe Galarian Zigzagoons. Maybe you knock out Jirachi from Vivid Voltage post rotation. I don't know, but it does have free retreat, so you can go and stuff like Cheryl. Free retreat, Cheryl, but the problem is you will have two attachments necessary. And uh, before rotation, you can rely on Tapu Koko Prism Star. After rotation, it's gonna be hard to get this guy uh, up and rolling. You could be. Yeah, I don't know how to feel about this one. 100 on. This is actually like also a seem, uh, an attack similar to uh, the, <laughs> the attack of Rapid Strike Urshifu V Max. 100 100. You can use Tapu Koko Prism Star, have two of them up. Problem is that there's Cheryl in the format, there's Koopa Mad in the format, so I don't know if you get a lot of damage. Uh, I don't think the damage output is too high here. Also, you cannot rely on a Rapid Strike Energy. You do have Free Retreat, so I don't know how to feel about this. I think this one probably won't see play because Lightning type decks in general won't see a lot of play. You don't have want to hit for Lightning Weakness in general, and being weak to Fighting was probably gonna be the nail in the coffin for that one, so. For now, for the Kanto starters, I think Flareon VMAX uh, is the victory, actually is the victor. Next up, we're gonna go to uh, Johto Espeon VMAX. A retreat cost of two weakness to Darkness, so it shares, uh, shares a similar weakness to Shadow Rider Calyrax, but on the other hand, you can pair it with Shadow Rider Calyrax. So this guy has the Sun notification as an ability, as long as this Pokemon is in play, each of your Pokemon has an energy attached isn't affected by effects from your uh, from the attacks from your opponent's Pokemon. Ooh, that is interesting. So if they want to go for uh, attacks, let's say only the damage goes through, right? Yeah, as long as this Pokemon is in play, each of your Pokemon that has any energy attached isn't affected by effects. Uh, I think only the damage goes through. So uh, paralyzation and all that magical stuff that has a uh, side effect to the attack will not go through, which is interesting because most of your board will be filled with the energies thanks to Shadow Rider Calyrex and the energy acceleration. If you play this, it's probably gonna be a tech uh, way to just shut down uh, yeah, the effects of certain attacks. It also slaps 60 damage uh, times the number of energy attached to your opponent's Pokemon in total. So. If you're up against Shadow Rider Calyrex Mirror Match, this could actually be like a game-changing scenario where you are able to just punish the opponent by playing a lot of energies. Let's say the opponent has about, let's say, five energies in play. You slap 300 damage with the Aspion VMAX. Let's say they have six, you just one-shot anything in the game. Uh, think about Santa Scorch and all that. That's also very funky to just deal with. I don't know. Ability is pretty interesting. It's a stage one. You might just get it out if you want to have this answer, but there's also better options, I think, before rotation. Next is Umbreon VMAX, probably the best out of the bunch here. It's a single strike Pokemon as well, so you can buff up the damage output with single strike energies, which is totally awesome because it pairs so well with Handoom, and it also is weak to grass. And grass does not see a lot of play. Maybe you see it in uh, Rillaboom decks here and there, but with Wilder still being popular, I think grass decks don't see the light of day too much. Although after rotation, we might see a different story when Wilder rotates, but this has the uh, ability Bloodthirsty Eyes, aka, yeah, it has actually the Dark Signal ability, that's what it's called, but it's Bloodthirsty Eyes from Lycan Rock. GX all the way back from Guardians Rising and uh, what can we see here is that this is gonna be a huge deal for Eternatus putting it back on the map so uh, you have easy ways to gust you evolve into uh, Umbreon VMAX and you have boss orders as the ability which is insane so let's say you have Eternatus uh, you slap down some of your uh, Zigzagoons and stuff you slap down an Umbreon Crobat draw some more cards and now you can threaten the opponent by gusting up whatever is uh, necessary for 270 freaking damage. Reminds me a lot of uh, how Victini is so aggressive. Well, this can be the exact same thing because uh, Eternus is already playing Great Balls, is already playing Quick Balls, is already playing Crobat. So you draw very well into your deck. Pre-rotation even runs communication, but that's, that's going to be rotating. But that's not a big issue if you're playing like maybe a 2-2 line of uh, Umbreon VMAX, maybe a 3-3 line. Whatever the case is, if you can gust up so much... Uh, Eternus can just go for the two prizers, for instance, Aldegos, Crobat, you can actually knock out a Pokemon that wants to evolve the following turn. I love this ability so much, it brings me back to the days of, uh, yeah, uh, the good old Sun and Moon era. And um, you're also going to be able to punish with Umbreon itself, because of 160 damage might not seem like enough, but you could also pair it up with Handoom to even go for 180, 200 even. So, uh, and you hit Witness against a very popular archetype coming in the format, Shadow Rider Calyrex VMAX. So, 
Umbreon is super good. If you want to know what the uh, pre-evolutions does, uh, be sure to check out the, uh, the link in the description to learn more about the EV Heroes set. Moving forward, we have Glaceon VMAX. And uh, yeah, do you remember Glaceon uh, GX, which was like uh, immune from stuff? <laughs> this is actually having some uh, similar effects. Prevent all damage done to this Pokemon. Dot. No, <laughs> that would have been insane. No, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from your opponent's VMAX. Yeah, uh, this is pretty much like uh, Zamazenta. Prevent all the damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from your opponent's Pokemon VMAX. So you're immune from uh, damage from VMAXs. And the meta will be filled with a lot of VMAXs after rotation when the tag teams are crying in a corner, finally leaving the format. So this is a good, good ability. Any water deck might want to run a 1-1 one, one line of Glaceon VMAX just in case. Oh, the opponent is running a VMAX deck. Let's just go with Glaceon and uh, it's going to be good. Also, you slap 150 and then turn damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. You can uh, amplify that with the telescopic sight. So in any water deck, this is going to be huge because being immune from VMAXs uh, will win you games. Definitely against those decks. For instance, Rapid Strike Urshifu is good when it's a VMAX. If it's not a VMAX, it's actually not too good. This could also be maybe used in a stall deck where maybe, um, yeah, with Cheryl's and stuff, you're immune from VMAX, Cheryl, Crushing Hammers. Is there a way to get Crushing Hammers back? I don't know, but Glaceon has a good ability. Attack is a little bit less good, but you can actually make a Frostmelt Glaceon deck and be immune from damage from VMAXs. Eternus won't be able to touch you at all uh, unless they have four energies under Eternus V, which I highly doubt. Yeah, Glaceon is good, uh, Umbreon is good, and I also like Flareon a little bit, so uh, this is my first impression of all these uh, new cards being uh, introduced here. We have Elemental Badge. It looks like a badge that you can win to go to the Pokemon League. <laughs> what do we see here is that it's a tool card. You can attach it to a Pokemon that does not already have a tool card, and you are going to be able uh, to actually pay one card as energy less to use the attacks of your Jolteon, Flaporeon, Flareon. Okay, this is huge. If this Pokemon is attached to, uh, actually, if this tool card is attached to Vaporeon or to Jolteon V or to Flareon V, you actually pay one card's energy less to attack. That's huge. Let's revisit them back again. You can use this for two energy. That's that's very good. Two energy and a exp share could be interesting because you do play so many energies. Wow, automatically getting better and better. One energy less. You can use the attack for free. You can use the attack for free. How crazy is that? Although I still am not a fan that you leave yourself wide in the open. So Vaporeon's playability doesn't get better, but this could be interesting. Uh, some Handooms and uh, what, a couple of these tools. That means you only need one Handoom in play and uh, four of these tools and you can get going. Be careful of Tool Jammer, by the way. Tool Jammer and Tool Scrapper are available to uh, everybody to use. We have uh, Jolteon being able to use... <laughs> this is getting way out of hand now. I instantly like Jolteon way more now with four Cheryls. Some speed lightning energies, and off we go. Attach 100, 100. Yeah, yeah. first of all, Galarian Zigzagoon, Snipe, uh, one energy, bam, sniping damage. Next up, Cheryl scooping up Zigzag again. So, Jolteon is gonna become crazy. I know it's weak to fighting, but this uh, definitely makes it good, that tool card. Be careful of tool jammer and tool scrapper, but other than that, you just tool, um, yeah, put that uh, elemental batch onto your Jolteon V max, and uh, then go crazy. Yeah. I like it. I do also think this works out for the V Maxes. It does stay uh, as attached to your Vaporeon V, Jolteon V, or Flareon V. Then you pay one card as energy less. If it also allows us to uh, use it for the V Maxes, it's gonna be broken. If not, we have to look back at what the uh, original ones do. But I do think it's gonna be the V Maxes as well. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section. But if it is, then I like Jolteon a lot with Cheryl. Next is the Snow Leaf Badge. Same scenario for Glaceon V and Leafeon V. We haven't seen Leafeon V Max just yet, but for Glaceon, doesn't change a big difference. Still needs two energies, and that's uh, either Frostmoth or something else. And uh, yeah, it does not. Uh, oh yeah, this is different. It's not even like uh, one card's energy less to attack. It means it has no retreat cost and no weakness. Ooh, automatically immune from Zation. Uh, yeah, not immune from Zation, but uh, you are not weak to metal, which is good. I also have a free retreat cost, so you could be turning into a hit and run deck. Hit and run decks, slapping damage, promoting Glaceon, which has free retreat, although you can also use, has free retreat and has no weakness, so entirely better than Air Balloon for the Glaceon and Leafeon. Then the Moon and Sun Badge, what will this do, right? This is gonna be for Umbreon, V and Espeon V. 
So uh, when your opponent plays a supporter card from their hand, prevent all effects of that card. <laughs> oh, yo, you actually get yourself the uh, Omega Barrier, if you remember that. That means if the opponent wants to use something like Team uh, Team Yelgrunt, or maybe want to use Boss's Orders, they, it will not work on the Umbreon V or Espeon V that this card is attached to. So on the other hand, that means if you have yourself an Umbreon V set up and equipped with this, the opponent is not able to gust up your Umbreon to prevent a gusting from the Umbreon V Max. Or if you have an Espeon V Max, you're not affected by um, effects from attacks, and you are also not being able to get uh, affected by supporters. So <laughs> a lot of great things for sure. And then the ribbon badge is for Sylveon. Uh, if this Pokemon, yeah, it's, a, it's this two cards attached to Sylveon V Max when it is knocked out, your opponent takes one less prize card. Insane, yeah, we're gonna have to go back to Sylveon V to just give my honest opinion. We already checked out these cards before, so be sure to check out the link in the description. Let's check them out. Okay, 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 okay. So Sylveon V here, it's a Rapid Strike card, and uh, yeah, once during your turn you may search your deck for an item and then your turn ends. Pretty damn bad because of Marnie. But if this guy gets knocked out, the opponent takes one last prize card. So can you imagine an army of <laughs> Sylveon V? Interesting. So that was my first impre impression of these new cards. We've already talked about a lot of them. We are here at uh, pokebeach.com. Big shout out to do those guys. And my personal favorite out of the bunch is Umbreon V Max. That's for sure. Like having a gusting uh, ability is very good. We've seen it before with uh, Luxray uh, Level X. We've seen it with Lycanroc like GX. They all sub play. And also I'm a big fan of Flareon. We'll make a meme deck with this, like discarding a lot of cards and then slapping 500 damage. That's going to be awesome. Anyhow, have, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to let me know by destroying the hell out of the like button. Helps out more than you would possibly think. Go check out our sponsors as well. PotownStore.com, the best place to get yourself some TCGO code cards. You can use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% off your next order. And it works on every single order. Even if you're... Uh, ordering every day or if you're ordering once a month, you can always keep using the Zablos TCG code and you get 5% of your entire order. So whether you're looking for Eternus codes, uh, Dragapult codes, Crobat codes, Zation codes, they have everything up on stock for you guys and you can use that code. Also go check out cardmarket.com, the best place for European players to buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. I personally use it every day to get rid of my bulk and uh, being able to acquire new cards from people all across Europe is nice. And uh, yeah, that's uh, awesome. Uh, be sure to check it out. Also be uh, sure to check out the link in the description for uh, more on EV Heroes. And uh, thank you all very much for watching another one of my videos. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to do so. You get daily content and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's Pokemon TCG video. I'm out. Peace.